You are watching the Calvary. Look at this fuckery. In a black owned restaurant. Look at the fuckery. Wow. Y'all took, excuse me? Excuse me? Y'all together, like in an intimate relationship? Really? What's up? You couldn't find no black woman? Like, you. Wow, I'm telling y'all, this is the greatest moment in history to have an actual audio of a pro-black simp coon confronting an interracial couple. Y'all had no clue how bitch-ass you sound and how bitch-ass you look, especially using the words talked to you by the African-American woman. What a pathetic specimen of man you are. <laughs> Seriously. You don't hear Asian men walking up to uh, Asian men with white women talking about, oh my God, <laughs> are you all in an intimate relationship? I mean, really? Like, <laughs> look, for 30, 40 years, black women have been building and rebuilding black men into this soft, pathetic piece of garbage, straight trash where a brother and the woman that he's with can't just sit, chill, and have a good time. In fact, they can't even sit, chill, and spend their money at an African-American restaurant, which, you know, according to code, is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to write, take our money, and make sure that we build up our African-American infrastructure. Now, black men have a right to be happy, all right? They do, they, they have a right to be happy. Now, hey, I know there's black women who are gonna stand up and say, no, you don't. You don't have a right to be happy. No, you don't. Fine. That's on you. You could be sad and pathetic over there all you want. But brothers are gonna be happy. And, hey, I hate to say it, this honeysuckle hotel did size up this young brother. He sized him up and decided that he could attack this young brother. But I can tell you right now, that nigga ain't rolling up on me. He ain't rolling up on me and my wife. He's not gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. I'm too big. I'm too black. I'm too big. I'm too black. I'm too big. I'm too black. I look like a motherfucker that will rip your fucking eyeballs out your head. Just for talking to my ass. Just for talking. Just for talking. So they know, hey, don't fuck around over there. They already know. But, you know, that dude is probably a little short, a little smaller, you know, a little bit too happy and shit, you know. But I look like I'm straight from the motherfucking streets. <laughs> straight up. I look like I your last day is today talking to fucking me, all right? But let's, let's not go there. It's just the way we ride in Chicago. We don't play that motherfucking shit. Look, I heard three shots last night. Nigga just got shot the fuck up on 51st and motherfucking Blackstone last night. Heard the shots, three shots. The motherfucking news, the, 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 the media, they didn't know how many times he was shot. I knew, three times. <laughs> three times, because I heard three shots. That's what happens to these stupid niggas. You know, these fucking honeysuckle ass hoteps. These sassy hoteps. They get their brains blown out. They get laid out. It's just what happens. Don't fuck around in Chicago like this little punk ass bitch in New York. Y'all motherfuckers, hey look, there's been a whole bunch of honeysuckle ass hoteps in New York. Spike Lee's a honeysuckle hotel. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm breaking it down for you. Y'all didn't know. See, Tariq Nasheed, he's been, he's been working hard to show y'all who the coons are, right? So automatically, uh, the black man with the white woman, you know, the, the Jim Millers, uh, the Mad Brush Driver X's, myself. These honeysuckle hoteps want to call us coons, all right? These sassy hoteps. And this comes from honeysuckle himself, Tariq Nasheed. But I'm going to help you brothers out. I'm going to introduce you to a couple of new phrases. A couple of new phrases that you are, you can use everywhere. Number zero, them brothers that you gotta watch out for like Tariq Nasheed, who are brown, right? Huh? 
who are brown like Cookie Brown, but they've married a woman who is way, way, way liked. I call them Coco Dolezels, all right? Now these Coco Dolezels, we ain't sure if they are white or black. We're not sure if they are white or black. That, that cat may have a rude awakening sometime soon because he's already got a bunch of biracial kids. She may have to tell the truth one day that she's a Rachel Dolezel, but we're gonna call him a Coco Dolezel for short for right now. But beware of that, that's number zero. Tariq Nasheed may wanna make sure that his wife gets the proper intel from white supremacy. The least he can do is to make sure that his you know, Coco Dolezel wife actually infiltrates white supremacy and brings us back proper information. And I mean good shit, quality shit. I need, you know, basically shit to overthrow white supremacy. However, however she gotta do it, just do it. Number one, the Honeysuckle Hotel. You just heard that one. Also the Sassy Hotel. The Sassy Hotel. Now, let me explain those to you. These brothers are the ones who say, but ain't your mama black? <laughs> They, they write it in text. The keyboard warriors, they write it in text. They're like, ain't your mama black? Um, you couldn't find no black woman? Now these are the, you know, the delivered <laughs> Negroes. I've been delivered. I won't touch no more men's. <laughs> I've been delivered. That's them Negroes, all right? That's hotels, dick trollers. Dick trollers, another phrase, they dick trolling. Why are you concerned with where another man sticks his dick? Right now, you can't say shit like, "Well, you, uh, well, see, the thing is, you're not, you're not holding down the black community." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something, y'all niggas dumb. That brother was literally sitting inside of an African American restaurant, spending his money with his people. Whatever, y'all can't even stick to your own code. You're dumb, so dumb. Let me tell you something. Byron Allen is holding down the black community more so than any one of you hoteps and black women, period. You ain't got enough money. You don't have the GDP. Boyce Watkins ain't got the GDP. Uh, uh, Sharika Graham ain't got the GDP. Sir, Sir Loma Halonga, she ain't got the GDP. I'm gonna get to them women later because those women are like just straight up remedial. I listen to their videos and I, I can see exactly why the black community doesn't move forward. It doesn't move forward, it moves backwards. Did you notice that some women go hard? They go hard on brothers and in interracial relationships, but when it comes to black women, like, you know, uh, uh, Serena Williams, like Serena Williams marrying that white dude who's a racist, do you see how easy they go on her? Huh? Huh? They, they ain't talking about where her money's gonna go, do they? Do they? But they talk about where Randy Moss money gonna go. Right? Let me explain to you about remedial. Remedial, I mean, I'm saying these women are dumb. They say this over and over again. He, he married a white woman, even money's gonna go to the white community. That's the dumbest shit in the world. And let me explain why. There's a such thing called wills. Every person's entitled to write a will. And if you're like Prince who didn't write a will, then the government comes in and, dis and disseminates your money. The government comes in and disseminates, he married a white woman, the government comes in and disseminates your money to your nearest family members, period. That's how it works. But them two remedial knuckleheads from the Boyce Watkins channel, remember his channel's supposed to be about finance. And these two remedial chicks, Salika Graham <laughs> and Shaloma Honga, whatever the fuck her name is, them motherfuckers, don't know about wills. Look, brothers, you write your will, right? And you tell, you, you write in the will exactly where you want your money to go. So your father gets some money, you write that. So your mama gets some money, you write that. So your brother gets some money, you write that. Your sister gets some money, you write that. Your cousin gets some money, you write that. Your wife gets some money, you write that. You, you actually cut up exactly how much each, each person's supposed to get. And that also, that also includes your children. Your children gets a cut of your money, all right? Now, see, they, see Sh Sharipa Graham and Shahoma Longa, they ain't gonna tell you this information because, see, it's about it's about shaming tactics. It's about shaming tactics. It's about it's supposed to help the Honeysuckle Hotel and the Sassy Hotel to attack you. See, that's their 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 bitch man. 
these are their their um their little pathetic arms of the sisterhood <laughs> these are their little sassy soldiers all right these guys are the ones that are supposed to confront you as you're spending your money with black people that I means the dumbest shit in the world i know i know they never go after white supremacists nope mm -mm, mm -mm. The, the, the the sisterhood never trains black men to go after white supremacy the sisterhood only has its own singular silly focus on silly shit and that's on controlling black men they don't want black men to be able to escape their fuckery and when i say escape their fuckery i'm talking about the same fuckery that Tariq Nasheed, that Spike Lee is trying to lead you into. They don't want to be alone, fucked up in this fuckery. They don't. They don't want to be alone. So they try and drag you in to the same fuckery, the same thing that Jesse Jackson Jr. is involved in. Do you know he's divorcing his wife right now out of embarrassment? Because allegedly she was sucking police dick while he was in jail. Yeah, yeah, Gary McCarthy sucking and fucking him. Yeah, allegedly, you know, taking his dick in her ass, allegedly. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Sandy Jackson, yeah, that's Sandy Jackson. Yeah, yeah, Alderman, Sandy Jackson. Yeah, her, her, yeah, right there, black woman, right, yeah, yeah. They don't want you, they don't want to be alone with these women, you know? So they know that the brothers out there with, with white women and Asian women and Latin women, they got it good, man. They just living a damn good life, and they're upset, all right? They're upset because they ain't living that life. They ain't living that lifestyle. So here's the other, the other words, all right? They want to call you cool? Call them simp coons, all right? Simp coons. Because Tariq ain't really researched all this information, but every black person's a damn coon according to white supremacy. See, like he said, they play chess. He plays checkers. He plays checkers. All right? They play chess. He plays checkers. That's why he brought back Coon, but didn't realize that he's a simp Coon. It's just the truth. I'm just being real with you. He's a simp Coon. He's a simp Coon. And the black women like Sandy Jackson, like Savika Graham, like Shahom Malonga, they'll want to be bed winches. As soon as you turn your back, as soon as you drop your fucking fork, they'll be sucking a fucking white dick. Yes, they will. Taking an ass from the white man, from the very cop that you fighting against. That's exactly what they will be doing. That's what happened to Jesse Jackson Jr. As soon as he went, you know, he's supposed to get some street cred, right? As soon as he went to jail, this chick is getting checks, paying her rent, getting checks, paying for miscellaneous bills and clothes and shit. They subpoenaing all this from three white dudes. And one of them is Gary McCarthy, the, the ex-superintendent in Chicago, superintendent of police. This shit going down big in the shot, big. Look, all you brothers, all you brothers with black women, you're a simp coon with a wannabe bed wrench. Look, I'm not lying. Angry Man Channel said it himself. If, you know, if the brothers are with white women, why are they talking about black women, right? So that means that if black women are with a black man, they shouldn't be talking about interracial relationships. Or is it that the simp coon is just supposed to put weights and restrictions on just the brothers? They ain't got the power. They ain't got the power to put any, any weight, any type of uh, 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 restrictions on black women, but they put it on black men. Them Shaquika Grams are looking for an exit plan so they can get to some white dick. Every last one of them chicks. Them Sharvia Grams, that's why they that's why they upset about the interracial relationships. The black men interracial relationships. They're not upset about, you know, Serena Williams. They're not. They're not. Because they're looking for their exit plan. And their exit plan is is sucking and taking anal deep with white men and getting their bills paid. That's their sponsor. All that bullshit. So now what you think? So when they when they hitting y'all up, when they hitting y'all up, call them what they are, simp coons, honeysuckle hoteps, sassy hoteps, and wannabe bed wenches. I got another video. We're gonna get real deep into that Sandy Jackson alleged story why 
Jesse Jackson Jr. is divorcing her ass. We're gonna get real deep into that motherfucker. We're gonna cook and bake that bitch. All right? So, let me leave you with this right here again. In a black owned restaurant. Look at the fuckery. Wow. Y'all took, excuse me? Excuse me? Y'all together, like in an intimate relationship? Yeah. Really? <laughs> What's up? You couldn't find an old black woman like you? That's you bitch niggas right there. You goddamn bitch nigga Tariq Nasheed Spike Lee alums. That's you bitch niggas. All you motherfucking ho- Every last one of you ho up niggas. That's you. That's you. Excuse me. Excuse me. You can't find no black woman. <laughs> Delivered. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. I would have deleted my Facebook page too after I embarrassed myself publicly on my own camera phone and put it on world star <laughs> boy you hoteps y'all so pathetic there's actual white supremacists as well as racist cops to battle and you battling your own people your own people are living who are living up to the cold taking their money and spending it with black people that's when you raise up that's when you get tough that's because you get your training from a woman. You've been watching the Cowboys.